Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you pretty much all the leaks and info we do know regarding a season five. It's about 15 plus different things coming in the new season. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's start off with the new gun, which many of you guys probably know already, and that is the fully automatic machine pistol that should also feature in the Kimbo option. And well, it looks like this is the only weapon we're getting in season five. They did say on Reddit that there's also going to be a primary as well, but that info seems to be incorrect. So expect a new primary in season six, not five. The new score streak coming to the game is going to be the emergency care pack package, which works like the normal care package, but it drops three packages instead of one, and it does cost double the amount of points to activate. Now here we have a look at the new map coming to the game, which is going to be frequency originally from Black Ops 4. It actually looks like a good map, so I'm definitely interested in trying it out. Next up here we have a quick look at the BP rewards. And as for the main items, we have the following. So we have Cypher, Codebreaker, Isabella, Scorched Isabella, Battery BTRY22, Templar, Shadow, Shrouded, the ASVAL, Metal Hive, the Locust, Archer Cold, the QXR, Silver Bones, the EM2, Steel Menace, and the Machine Pistol, Biometric. I really like this BP and I would say it's the best of the year so far hands down. Now as for the ground, a force subscription, we do have Bail Salvo, awesome skin in my opinion, as well as the Kilo Bolt Action Jaded and the Backpack Jaded as well. Here's the new BP uh, being added to the Vault, which is the Day of Reckoning Battle Pass for the second time, I believe. Now as for free content, we are able to earn Zane, Dark Fibers, and the RUS 79U compromised in the new themed event known as Fractured Society. The Challenge Pass was also going to be getting an up Updates, but I'm not sure just yet what the new rewards are going to be in the milestone pass. As for the exchange store, you'll be able to purchase Hazmat Bomber, Mission Terror, and an Epic ASM-10 for free using challenge tokens. Sounds good. The Chinese version of the game is getting another collaboration, and this time it is going to be with Ducky Yo. Not a whole lot is known at the moment though, but yeah, it is exclusive to them. Here we have a quick glance in what to expect in terms of MP map playlists for Season 5. Pause if you wish to read through that. And here we have a quick look at the balance changes as well, including MP, BR, and equipment changes. And again, you can pause if you wish to read through that. Now as for new lucky draws, we have four, including legendary fox trots, which I really like, and the legendary machine pistol. Is it just me or the BP machine pistol looks better than this? We also have this futuristic dystopia cyberpunk type of draw, which will have archery or alias, it's one of the two, and this really nice looking legendary swordfish known as wicked bones. Then we have this very unique codename Lazarus skin accompanied by a legendary PKM blueprint known as Blood Lust. The final new draw we do have will contain an unknown female character and a legendary Krieg 6 as well which you guys can see here. Now as for returning draws we have quite a few including the flaming lotus mythic drop with the DLQ lotus flames. But we also have a bunch of legendaries returning as well being the lights out draw, the primeval draw, the Hydro Shock draw, the Urbanite draw, and finally the Order draw as well. Now back to actual gameplay content for our final topic of the day, we should be getting a new mode, which is like a fusion of MP and BR together. Essentially it is hard points, but the operator skills have been swapped out for BR classes. Basically you select one class at the beginning out of three, and these change and rotate out each game, and then it is hard points but with BR classes. It's pretty cool. So give me your thoughts on that down below. And well guys, with that being said, that is everything you pretty much need to know regarding Season 5 in about 5 minutes or so. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and thank you so much for watching as well, and well, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.